Hey guys, I am super excited. I'm here with my buddy Kyle and Ryan here. We're at Primitive Predators and I tell you, probably the most world-class crocodile place you could ever imagine. And we're gonna get the day started with feeding a big now crocodile. What do you guys think? Let's get into it, man. Let's go. So sorry. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, what a way to start the day. We're gonna see some amazing animals today. Find out about what the, they're doing here at Primitive Predators, and uh, this is amazing. I am gonna have, dude. I'm excited. I'm jacked. <laughs> let's uh, let's just get right into it. We're about to get things a little bit more excited. We are actually inside one of the enclosures. We have a big male crocodile. He knows we're here. He's definitely ready, so we're gonna go ahead and feed him. We've got a couple females on nest as well, so uh, what do you say we just give this a go, right? I've got uh, Ryan's protecting me, Kyle's protecting me, so uh, nothing could go wrong, right? No, no, <laughs> never. Maybe he'll like it if you splash the water and then he'll rush out. I'm out of Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was absolutely <laughs> this one. She rushed us hard too. She saw that rabbit and she was coming. <laughs> that was epic. Whoo, doggy. They are so fast. This one doesn't have any food. We gotta get the fuck out. We gotta start one coming too. They're coming, too. <laughs> coming too. Oh, that's awesome, man. And we just trapped ourselves. Thank you, Kyle. Yes, we did. <laughs> Tightest alleyway possible with a crocodile. Three of them. <laughs> All you do is just jump in the pond, right? Right? Safety in the pond. Yeah. Woo! There you go. <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> This is exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, this you're is, welcome. It's so now good. Are you going to get into croc wrangling now? Yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> yeah. start. Let's. What's my first lesson? <laughs> so it's always a great time. So uh, yeah, there's lots more to come. This is a great way to start the day. So after this uh, amazing start today, Kyle, I, you know, you're obviously just super passionate about crocodiles. I, I mean, know. I've known you for a while. I don't know anyone that's more passionate. You've just put it all in, and and this is like. This, this facility is next level. <laughs> and you said that you've got tens of thousands of hours just designing this. Yes, I bought this property August of 2015, didn't break ground for three years, drawing, 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 redesigning, just, uh, just essentially research, research, research to build exactly the best enclosure that I could for these crocs that I think I've done pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, when I was here last time, it was just kind of just starting to get developed. You had mm -hmm. the, the, the cement down, but uh, to see it actually come together is amazing. And, and this is just the start for you, right? It is, it is. I mean, we're building a sanctuary that will be open to the public 10 minutes away. Actually, the old property that I first moved down to down here, uh, we're completely renovating that area, building 33 new enclosures, uh, all hurricane rated and then redesigning the old place just to have it where it's super nice pathways, super luxurious, beautiful enclosures like this, yeah. um, and we'll be done this year. Oh my God, I can't believe you're making such quick progress on all this stuff. And and you know, you know, how many species of crocodiles do you work with now? Uh, 19. 19, yeah. and there's yeah. what, 23, or is there like some? Honestly, some... I can't even keep track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like every single week there's a new species. Yeah, so. it's like there's there was 23, but they've been splitting yes. some stuff up, and now who knows how many there are, also, but, uh, lamest, but there's, yeah. there's tons of different species. Yeah, there. so it's really cool, and, and I tell you, it's amazing so we're gonna get a chance to not only spend a little time here but uh, I am blown away by this building behind us right over here which uh, I again when I was here last time it was just like a, a greenhouse shell mm -hmm. now you what do you have in there now tortoises tortoises yep. so that entire building tortoises yep oh my gosh this is what do you guys say we go take a look so we are here in this beautiful greenhouse it's amazing so what do we have well we have a an Aldabra tortoise in here and he's a rescue tortoise but he is He's over in his little hut. He's probably just hanging out. What beautiful size enclosures, right? I mean, wow. It's got everything. It looks like, uh, I mean, it's just got everything you can imagine. These are even sprinklers? Yes. You even got a sprink yep. It's even sprinkler. Sprinkler system for the whole place. 
Uh, it's also built up, and then this is also rated for Category 5 Hurricane. Category 5 Hurricane, so yeah, yeah. you are set here. Yes. Yeah. Burmese Mountain Tortoises, you hardly ever really see these guys, or at least I don't ever hardly ever see these guys. Another one, the Giant Tortoises, are they the third or fourth biggest? They are the fourth. Fourth, fourth biggest? Yep, yep, so fourth biggest tortoise. That's, uh, of course, these guys are, <laughs> look at, they're so cute. They're just coming over to see us. What's going on, guys? And they're pretty aquatic, so that's why we built this big pond. And usually in the afternoons like this, when the heat of the day, they're actually laying in the pond in itself. The pond. Wow, that's incredible. And that pond is deeper specifically for them to swim. The rest of them are about like a foot deep. That one's 18 inches. So this, these guys will swim? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I actually, before I got my Yakari came in down to, uh, down here to Florida when I first moved down, I had them in the Yakari enclosure and they were swimming across a six foot deep pond. Wow, yeah. that is insane. I had no idea. How crazy is that guys, right? These are actually sulcata red foot tortoise crosses. I mean, that's just the most bizarre thing. You don't think of a giant sulcata and a little tiny red foot being able to breed. I'm assuming that maybe it was a male red foot breeding a big female sulcata, I, but I'm not even sure how that's gonna work. But nevertheless, these things, have you ever seen adults of these? Cause I haven't. I, I haven't. Wow. I've seen there's the, Sulcata leopard mix is right. big adults, yeah. but I haven't seen these. Yeah, ones. yeah, that's a great. I can't wait to see how these things grow yeah. and you know what size they get to, what they develop in. I mean, that's that's pretty. Yeah, that's it's actually, fun. Even though again, these are rescues. No yeah. one purposely produced them, right. but um, it's cool to see the different characteristics yeah. in them. You know, the yeah. different traits for sure that you pick up on both. Yeah, just to see what they're going to turn into. Yep. a little bit of a cooler area here uh kyle are, so you're a car guy obviously yes, yes uh, yeah look at this place man <laughs> oh my goodness gracious what's uh we're running out of room oh my god yeah you, yeah you're kind of full up here so i i hate i have to ask it just because i have to do you have a favorite car you're gonna laugh because it's probably gonna be the one that looks the worst in here really yeah. what is it what would you guys think what do you think it's the worst looking that looks the roughest condition right now i mean i maybe the the, the beetle over there i i don't it's a black mirror with the flat tires we're all i didn't even see that oh my gosh so, so this, this is, one is my favorite car by far this is really? the car that started off for me believe it or not i grew up with atvs and everything so you think yeah. i'd be a, a gearhead but i wasn't and it wasn't until the 2006 Camaro concept that came out that I was like, I gotta have this car. Gosh. And I ordered it in 2008, got it in 2009, and have had three engines in it, four superchargers, three transmissions, four sets of wheels. I mean, and it only has- Looks like you need another miles. set of wheels. Yes. <laughs> so now it's gonna go under the knife again. So now again. I'm like, forget it. We're just gonna pull this out, put a supercharger here, twin turbos here, a sequential shifter, all new wheels, yet another build. Kyle, uh, you may not know this, but my favorite crocodile, my favorite crocodile is probably Cubans, to be honest with you, yeah. but this is my second favorite. Salties. Uh, salties. I mean, I don't know, there's just something about these guys that are amazing. I mean, <laughs> and how old are these guys? These guys are only 11 months old. 11 months old. And they were tiny. Oh my gosh, they are so absolutely incredible. I mean, look at those teeth, and they always have quite the attitude, don't they? They do, they do. They, they always are. look like they're glaring and upset about something. I know, but look, look at that <laughs> little chunky monkey right over there. It's amazing. Now, these are one of the largest crocodiles on the planet. I mean, these guys will literally get, you know, 16 plus foot one day, and, yes. and uh, they are no joke. I mean, in certain parts of the world, they do take people. I mean, this is one of the crocodiles that I have been known to take people regularly, so. Uh, and you have quite the group of them, huh? Yes, these are, all males these were incubated as males and their dad is 14 and a half feet and he's only about 20 years old so he's still a young young male uh, a lot more growth so these guys will definitely get very very big very very good for genetics very uh, obviously the largest crocodile of the world so these guys will easily be pushing that isn't that amazing I mean and to get a chance to hold one in America is crazy I've never held one in America before so thank you so much for this of course. Uh, I've only seen them in Australia and uh, wow I tell you porosis are amazing and I can't I mean I'm on cloud nine guys is this is absolutely wonderful so thank you so much dude yeah let's put them back and go see their dad oh let's see their daddy <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Ooh. So this is the most dangerous time because she is aggressive. And then obviously he comes out and he closes his eyes and swings. If she gets in the way, she's done for. 
And that's the dad to the baby salties. I mean, unbelievable. That is absolutely a beast. And you see how it exploded out of the water? Pretty darn impressive. I wouldn't want to be in there when that happens. This is actually a white saltwater crocodile. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, just look at the color difference between a normal salty and these guys. He's coming right up to say hi to us. <laughs> so now comes the fun part. We get to go in with Chubbs the alligator and we actually get to go inside and just do a little swimming around with them, which is pretty cool. Aaron Cole, look at this guy. It's an exciting day because I actually get to volunteer here at Primitive Predators for the day. I'm their volunteer. I get to do a lot of cool stuff, but I'm trying to get as many hours in with crocodilians down here in Florida. That way, if I'm ever down here, I have my hours to actually handle them. So Kyle's been kind enough to actually let me spend the day and get some of those hours in. <laughs> Incredible guys. I mean, Chubbs is amazing, these osteoderms. And then just with being on him when he moves like that is really amazing to feel his yeah. muscles. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God. Now that is an experience. I got to tell you guys, that is absolutely wonderful. And I mentioned earlier that my favorite crocodile was actually the Cuban crocodile. And what do we have? Yes, yeah, so this is Hades. This is the male Cuban crocodile we've been raising up. He's about two years old now. Um, and as you can see, he's a bit of a chunk, uh, but he's he's do, doing really well. Um, I do work a lot on like maybe desensitizing him a little bit okay. just to where he's able to be handled like this. This is amazing. Um, I mean, Cuban crocodiles typically are not this docile, so this is this is truly amazing. Yeah, honestly, he's really good. Uh, in the last year and a half, he hasn't even swiped me once. Oh my gosh, um, that's amazing. So it's been really good taming him down and kind of desensitizing him. He's about three foot long now, maybe a little over three foot, and his uh, second birthday is this September. Wow, I tell you what, and these guys, of course, are the most athletic of all the crocodiles. They gallop, I mean, they're only from a very small area in Cuba. Unbelievable animal, and I just love them. I mean, the way they look, the way they act, the way they move, everything about them, but boy, do they have an attitude. So it's pretty cool to have one that is as chill as Haiti. So, uh, dude, thank you so much. That thing yeah. is ripper. Thank you. One of the things that's really unique here at Kyle's place is the fact that, you know, venomous snakes really can't come outside unless they're in an area that they can't get loose. So he actually built an area outside that you can actually mess with venomous snakes, which really is beautiful, right? Because uh, that you can see their true beauty in the sun. And of course, what do we have here, dude? So this is King Cobra. This is king our two-year-old King Cobra. So he's actually an Indonesian Malaysian King Cobra oh, cross. Cross. Yeah, but he is awesome. When we got him, he was maybe two and a half feet long and as thick as his tail. Wow. And I'd have to go and I'd feed him peaky mice every single day really? wrapped in snake skin oh for my gosh. the first four months and then he started getting more established got him over to rodents and then really wow. in the last like four or five months he started to just yeah. blow up inside. yeah kings blow up so quick but look at that beautiful animal right there look at him man oh my goodness gracious and it's crazy though the malaysians are unbelievably beautiful but with the indo cross in them it's kind of got a really different look right that indo oh, yeah. usually has lots of orange in the neck and and uh just really beautiful i mean this is a beautiful snake and it's only you said a year old or two years two years old yep. it's what an amazing snake and you can see how well behaved he is he doesn't even want to hood up no he he barely hoods up. He hoods up in his enclosure when he's protecting his territory. And then every once in a while, he'll see a shadow that spooks him. But for the most right. part, he's chill. What a beautiful snake. I tell you what, absolutely lovely. But yeah, he's, he's really mellow. I tell you what, really good. And listen, I love playing with crocodiles all the time, but you know I'm a snake guy by heart. So, and uh, I always tell people my favorite venomous snake is the king cobra and so to get a chance to mess with king cobras is absolutely amazing and uh, king covid here he's an absolute gentleman oh my gosh and the only thing that is a little bit interesting is we're going to see how big he gets because right. the, yeah. the malaysians have the potential to get 18 foot right. whereas the indonesians are typically 13 to maybe 15. Yeah, so you wonder if it'll be like a 14 foot or 15 maybe. foot yeah hopefully he'll get 17. yeah hopefully but uh it's, it's gonna be really interesting to watch him grow just look at those big plates on the head He's got something, he's interested in something right now. Not yeah. sure exactly what he's doing, but he's sniffing something. And that's the thing about kings, they're so intelligent, right? You can just see him sniffing all of these little you weeds right You know what right it might here. be? What's I was that? holding the baby anaconda, and I was ah. just touching him. So maybe he's oh, getting a little whiff of snake. He's getting a whiff of snake, because you can see he's even smelling his back right there. I bet you any money, that's yeah. what it is. See, that tells you how absolutely incredible and smart these animals are. He's just like, I smell an anaconda, can I eat it? 
buddy. That's on the opposite <laughs> side of the world. Anacondas don't come from where you are. And again, thank you guys so much for having me out. Your place is unbelievable, and it's about to get better and better. I cannot wait till the next time I come down and see the, the expansion keep continue. You guys are amazing. Uh, I love this crocodile. I love all your crocodiles. <laughs> I love all your animals. So do me a favor, right down, in the, right down there, you're going to go ahead and follow these guys. You're going to tell them that I sent you. Show them some love because, listen, they're doing amazing things down here. I do appreciate you guys so of much. Course. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more travel videos on this side and this playlist on this side right over there. Hit that subscription button. You guys have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to somebody, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.